What's up guys, Broken Solar Panel here, and I just got to 8,000 subscribers, man. So I'm going to do another Q&A. But first, let's talk about something I messed up in the uh, 7,000 subscribers Q&A. On the back of the Mega Blaster Junior, where it said 7,000 subscribers, I made a typo. It says 7,000 subscribers. Oh my god. That doesn't matter because I didn't do that for the 8,000 subscribers one. I spelled it right this time in the little uh, red, green, and blue uh, intro you saw earlier that said 8,000 subscribers. Also, remember when the uh, Mini Thunderbolts blower box uh, came out with a huge crack around the side? Well, I reprinted it, and it worked this time! So I put a, um, a Thunderbolt logo on there, and this will be used on the rebuild of the Mini Thunderbolt. So yeah. Also saw Tyler Davis's uh, progress on his Mini 1003. It's definitely louder than mine. <laughs> I'm not kidding. His is 120 decibels at 10 feet. Mine's only 73 decibels at 10 feet. Although we use different decibel meters. He used like an actual decibel meter and I used um, a decibel meter app on my phone I got for free. So I'm not exactly sure if the 73 decibels is accurate or not or if it's just the sound like my phone adjusting the volume automatically with its microphone like a lot of cameras and microphones and phones do uh, when the sound is too loud and it just ended up picking that up on the, the decibel meter it was built into um, so I'm not sure if that's um, if that 73 decibels is accurate or not so at some point I might have to get a real uh, dB meter and try again but something tells me Tyler Davis is still gonna win in terms of loudness over mine anyway let's get the Q&A started Suma Minerva Mink commented, Did you make Blockhead? Nice. Yes, I did make Blockhead. He's the King of Singularity. And there's actually a, a clip on the Q&A of uh, 7,000 subscribers that shows Blockhead being made as a 3D printed model. I mean, 3D printed or whatever, so, yeah. Nintendo Fanboy 404 commented, Do Whalens solenoids if they do high-low? Well, Whalens don't have solenoids. They're electronic sirens, so they can generate the high-low via... Uh, just their tone generators and a special circuit, I think. They're programmed to be able to do high-low uh, because they're electronic, so they don't have solenoids. Only electromechanical sirens that do high-low would need solenoids and need to be dual-toned, at least dual-toned, in order for it to be able to do high-low. So, yeah. Um, Helioblocks commented, uh, Do you post anywhere outside of YouTube, like Twitter or Instagram, etc.? No, I don't. I don't have any of those uh, other social media. I just have YouTube at the moment, so, yeah. Uh, WSLTTV commented, Hi, I have a question. Can you speak Russian? Uh, no, I cannot. DRAB program commented, Hi, BSP. What 3D printer do you have? I have a Flash Forge Finder and want to make sirens, but I don't know how. Can you help? Well, thanks for asking me for, for help, because I actually have a 3D printer as well. Mine's a, um... Uh, Hicktop uh, CR10. Yeah, it actually is called a CR10. It's called the Hicktop Creality 3D CR10. The model is CR10. And if you want to make your own sirens, you can just use a program known as Microsoft 3D Builder. It's usually pretty easy to use, and you just kind of got to design it piece by piece. It's, and then you can make your own siren. Or you can look up on YouTube uh, 3D printed siren. You can probably find models, or you can probably find a 3D printed siren on uh, Thingiverse or uh, Yegi or something like that. I haven't put any of my 3D models for any of my stuff on any website uh, that you can download 3D models, models from yet because I want to make sure everything's solid. That's why I'm rebuilding the Mini Thunderbolt. So that way, uh, if I ever do plan on posting these files uh, somewhere, then, um, then they'll be solid. They'll actually have a higher chance of actually working. So that's why I'm reprinting everything to make sure that everything's solid and bug-free before I even think about posting it on Thingiverse or, any, or anywhere else. So, yeah. Discovering the World and More commented, A bit irrelevant, but what happened to the video with the links to your videos that were blocked worldwide, such as Random Star and Shorts 12? That got taken down by a uh, community guideline strike because it was flagged for um, deceptive practices or something, or spam, I don't know what, but I tried to send an appeal, didn't work, but, um... Yeah, obviously it's not going to... Okay, obviously my plan, uh, my initial plan for making my blocked view videos viewable uh, didn't work, so I'll 
at some point when this strike expires, somewhere around March 29th, I think is when the strike expires. I'll try something slightly different. Uh, I'll get into that later. I am cool. Three 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 commented. One of the best animation channels. Makes me want to start my own. Well, I got something to tell you. Do it. Just do it. Okay, Sarah's cartoon channel commented. BSP, please don't upload videos trying to make your blocked videos viewable anymore. If you get multiple community guideline strikes, you'll never see your channel again. I've found a way around that. Like I said earlier, I can just wait for this strike to expire before trying something different. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till I have 9,000 subscribers, and then I'm going to put the links of my blocked videos in the description of my ninth Q&A, that is, if my strike expires before I get uh, 9,000 subscribers. And if the video gets taken down by a community guideline strike, the worst that'll happen is I'll get another first community guideline strike and another week off my channel. Um, so, therefore, uh, my channel won't be in any danger because I've found a way around it. So, obviously, you're going to have to wait quite a while before I try something to get my... Uh, blocked videos viewable again but um, yeah so don't worry about that I've uh, found that way around it just to wait for my strike to expire before I try anything else plus you have to get three strikes to get um, your channel terminated uh, strikes two and one have an expiry date I think of 90 days after the um, after the uh, strike has been issued so yeah and uh, I got that strike about a month or two ago I think so and since it says it expires uh, on March 29th, um, that means I got about uh, two months left before the, um, the strike fully expires and I can try something else for getting my blocked videos to be viewable. And have only the worst being that I get one uh, community guideline strike, another first strike, uh, and my channel being off air for a week. Tyler Stainback commented, For 8,000 subscribers, BSP, can you make a, mil a mini modulator 3016? The modulator in 3016 and two completely different sirens from two completely different brands. The modulator is from Federal Signal, the 3016 is from Whalen, and uh, the modulator is like an omnidirectional stack of Mentos or something, lifesavers, and the Whalen 3016 is an oscillational um, uh, box with horns attached to the back or something that's like 16 horns in like an array that's like kind of like a zigzag kind of thing. So yeah. Plus I'd need a lot of speakers to make either one of those sirens. Since there's 16 speakers on a 3016, I don't know how many speakers there are on a modulator. I know there's, well there's a bunch of different modulators. There's like the taller ones and then the shorter ones. The modulator I drew for TSM has seven speaker cells, but I don't know if uh, how many speakers in, is in each cell. Like if, is, if there's one speaker per cell, or I thought I've heard that there's like four speakers per cell. But I'm not sure if that's true or not, but yeah. Because the modulator is kind of an interestingly weird uh, siren. Even Fried, uh, Eden Friedman, Friedman or whatever, commented uh, uh, that my Mini SD10 is very quiet considering its size. Yeah, it's not very loud at all, actually. Um, I think it's only like uh, I haven't measured here. Um, according to my phone's uh, decibel rating, reading it's only 68 decibels at 10 feet. Um, so yeah, it's not very loud. So yeah, this is uh, the end of the. 8th Q&A, so yeah, this is Broken Solar Panel signing off.